Hey, welcome back to another Sunday afternoon chat. Having to do my intro on the truck. Got the kids in here if you're hearing Lucas. Sorry about that. Um, we had a boys camp out and uh, Brother Josh Key did a devotional at the camp out with the kids and uh, we're gonna put that up on here for our Sunday afternoon chat. I hope y'all enjoy it. Again, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Uh, more than that, those share these videos for me. I'd appreciate it. Um, hope y'all enjoy it. We'll see y'all on the next one. Since it's just boys out here tonight, we're gonna talk about choices. 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 <laughs> we got all these choices to make. Bacon or sausage, paper or plastic. Them choices don't mean a whole lot. Y'all are coming to the to the stage in life, you still got a few years. But you're coming to the stage in life where you're gonna have some bigger choices to make. When I came to that stage, I made some choices. It wasn't choices I'd, I, it'd break my heart to see any of y'all make. <laughs> when you get to that stage, when, when you get, I guess you'd call it a early part of turning into a man, there'll be choices that when you make them, some of them there'll be no coming back from. I made choices in my life that uh, that altered the things that the Lord could use me for. He he'll never be a, he'll never be able to use me to pastor a church. There'll be folks in uh, around this area that we're in now that would probably have a hard time ever hear, hearing the gospel from me because they know where I came from. And that's something that one of these days I'm going to have to answer for. In Proverbs 19.21, it says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, not, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. When y'all get to that stage where those choices are presented to you, where you know, alcohol, there, there's they, they so many things that could knock you off the rails and knock you off real quick. That ain't to say that they ain't to come back from, but there'll be things that'll be in you, they'll be in your thoughts and in your memory from here on. But even if you make those mistakes, it makes make those wrong choices. That don't mean you quit keep going like I said I could I'll ne I could ne I could never lead a church now because of choices I made when I was a younger man and brother Joe and I have talked about it there'll be folks that'll say that I shouldn't be doing anything because of those choices I made but I want to do what he'll let me do what he'll give me to do and everything I can possibly do for it I had to look at my notes. If I'd been walking with the Lord then and seeking his counsel, those choices would have been a world apart different. But I made them. There's no going back from them. And I'll deal with them. But 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You go mess up. Every one of you, 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 several of you made choices tonight that probably wasn't real good choices, you know, trying to set hammocks up on trees that was covered up in poison and playing in the fire. And, <laughs> There ain't no telling how many lures have already been lost in this river and y'all ain't even come close to a fish. But, if it makes you feel any better, you're gonna just keep making wrong choices. But if you'll seek that counsel, walk with the Lord all that you can, you, you're gonna mess up. You ask for forgiveness for that, and you keep going the way that he wants you to go. Let him use you. 
this uh, this world we live in today, the kind of men that we're trying to help the Lord mold y'all into is, is basically hated by a lot of the world now because we want you to be men that know how to lead your house, men that know how to lead churches, men that know how to lead Sunday schools. A man's supposed to lead according to this book right here. That's what it tells us. We're the leaders. But the world we live in today thinks that we need to sit down and hush. And it's, it's sad to say that that's happening a lot. And the more it happens, the further away from the Lord that world's going to go. I pray that that y'all will learn from mistakes that I, I'll, I'll tell you about when you get older. You're too young now for me to tell you about some of them. But when you're old enough to hear them, I'll talk with you and I'll, I'll share with you my mistakes. And I, I, I pray that you'd learn from mine instead of having to make them on your own. I know we got two preachers here and I, I, I firmly believe that there's probably going to be more preachers than that. Well, three if you include Brother Joe, but I ain't talking to him right now. I firmly believe there'll be more than that. But I'd love to see every one of you be able to be a deacon one day. That's that's all I really got. It was short and sweet. But I want you to, every decision that you face in your life, mm -hmm. I want you to do it with what the Lord would have you do in mind and in a lot of prayer, okay? Yes. anything? The Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The psalmist David said in Psalm 119 that thy word can be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. The word of God. All choices ought to be made in light of the word of, of the word of God. You stay in the book, stay in church, seek godly counsel like was you was exhorted to do tonight. And that's what we're here for.